Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to warn you, there will be some jump scares involved. Otherwise, enjoy. This is my commentary on Bendy and the Ink Machine. I would go through and play it myself, but I don't know if I have the time to. Anyways, enjoy. So this is how it all starts. My old boss, Joey Drew, invites me to go back to the studio. And my name is Henry. I definitely have no relation to this man. Well, hmm, I wonder why he invited me back. Something just isn't right. So this is the ink machine. It doesn't look that big. I mean, sure, it has tubes going somewhere, but I seriously doubt that is what can flood the entire place and bring nightmares to life. Is that supposed to scare me? I mean, it's just a cardboard cutout. It looks kind of cute. I mean, I get it's unnatural for those things to be moving on their own, unless Sammy is around here somewhere. Oh well. And I just made a mistake. Even though, technically, this is just someone else's playthrough. For I know you are coming to save me, and I will be swept into your final loving embrace. But love requires sacrifice. Can I get an amen? So Sammy's just creeping around with the cardboard cutouts and apparently praying to Bendy. You want an amen from me? Take off your mask and uncover your ink. That or you are not Sammy. Oh well, guy's popular for his voice, I know that much. Hmm. I'm gonna cut you. Well, hopefully that thing does not build itself back up. But, but Sammy, I, I found an exit. Oh, that sounds sweet. But, Sammy, I... Here we go now, nice and tight. We wouldn't want our sheep roaming away now, would we? No, we wouldn't. But you don't have to sacrifice me to Bendy, I just... I found an exit. Can, can we go oh, back? Also, why do you praise a demon? Sammy, uh, uh, as cool of a guy as you are, you look kind of muscular as an ink person. Um, you don't don't praise a demon. You're an imbecile. I must have him notice me. But wait, you look familiar to me. That face. Yeah, we work together. Not now. Aww. What is calling to us, my little sheep? But I'm a person, just like you. I'm not a sheep. But I found an exit. Oh, forget it. Well, I escaped Bendy. Oh, look, a can. Hello? Someone there? I know you're in here. Joey? Sammy? Bendy? Oh, it's Boris. Also, why does Henry talk to Boris, a character who doesn't talk at all, but he won't say a word Boris? to Sammy or Alice? Henry, you are a mystery. Hi, let's see what's up ahead. She's quite a gal. Ooh, hello? Alice? Ooh, this is a sweet song. Sammy, you're good at writing songs. Oh, 
Wait, what? Oh, hello. I was so focused on the song that I wasn't looking. Huh. If this song was acute, maybe I would have gotten scared. I'm, I'm serious. Like, for real. Ah uh, yes, into the darkness. I'm Take going to get scared down. now. Say hello to an old friend. Joey? Sending you a little present. A little firepower. Flamethrower? Take good care of it. It belonged to someone very special. Mm -hmm. A Tommy gun! <laughs> I'm gonna go shooting up the place now. Thanks, Alice. I hate you, but you gave me a freaking gun. Uh, <laughs> Back to the old grind. All right. Down, down we go. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Mr. Cameraman. I'm going to shoot you. Oh, shut up. As if I care. Well, I've got a gun. A hey, projectionist. Where's this ammo coming from anyway? My enemies don't mean nothing when I have a gun. It seems we've reached the end of my to-do list, my little errand boy. Ah, finally. I hope you enjoyed our time together. No, this date sucked. You just made me do chores. Well, good riddance. If you want to know more about dating, maybe you should go play Doki Doki. Even Monica is more convincing of a lover than you. You suck, Alice. Have you ever wondered what heaven is like? I'd rather not talk about death right now. Oh hey, I had this as my introduction once, but Bertram is not wrong, really though. Joey wanted to create some sort of dream, but it's a nightmare. Oh wait, why do I have to fight your contraption now? Oh well, guess all I have to do is break the hinges and then I win. Well, maybe your machines are, but I don't see you anywhere. And I seriously doubt that face is you, either. Are you kidding me? I thought you, I shot you down. Help. Thanks, Bendy. Yay, a free camera. No, I am not here. Yes, just take his corpse. You can eat me later. Thanks, Bendy. Honestly, that's probably my favorite moment in this entire game. Yes, yes, yes. Why can't you ever just shut up? I get this is supposed to be a sad moment, but all Boris did was take me to his safe house, play cards with me, and open a door. I basically wasted this entire chapter trying to save him, only to find out it was too late. Ha ha!
There's multiple Alice's and multiple Boris's. Let's hope there's not multiple Sammy's and multiple Bendy's. Hello? Sammy, I thought you died in Chapter 2. No, you didn't. But I'm not Bendy, I'm just the creator of Bendy. I'm not smiling. Heck, I know I don't ever get to view myself in like a mirror or anything, but what does Henry look like? I am pretty sure I am not Bendy, so you are kind of crazy, Sammy. Okay. But we're making noise by moving around, and it really doesn't matter. Besides, I, Bendy's not going to break through this glass or anything. But I see he grew a spine. Well, doesn't matter if he was going to do anything or not. Let's just go now. I really like Bendy's dark ink aura. That just... It's pretty epic, I have to admit. Since when did this thing get bigger? For real. Wow. I've never seen this before. But it created you? Okay then, bye. Guess I'm on my own. You two really didn't help me too much either. Sure, you saved me from Sammy and helped me fight ink monsters, but that's it. Yep. Me neither. So you're mad that I sat in your throne and now you're going to turn into a beast? Well, okay then. So much for sitting in your throne. Music is more scary than you. Yes, what nice big sharp teeth you have. Mr. Big Bad Wolf. Do I have to kill Bendy? Can't I make friends with him Undertale style? Doesn't he have any decency in him? Also, why is it that it just takes a bright light called the end to kill him? Ah uh, yes, more illusions. Also, why did I just waste all that time running around and getting him to smash himself into tubes? Did that really do anything? Well, okay. Henry, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. Ah, uh, yes, the lore is that this is all a time loop. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Anyways. That's my take on this game. Sure, I missed quite a few scenes, and it was probably shorter than yesterday's video, but hey, I like this game. Oh well. See you all in the next video.